I am here on behalf of the 17 people in my neighborhood who was harmed after a cell tower became active. Your hands are not tied. There is no preemption when it comes to health and human safety. You are required by law and the Constitution to do something about this issue. The only thing that is unlawful and a violation is our government's officials' failure to act. Yes, we all want reliable high-speed internet, and how you heard this can be accomplished is through fiber. There are no, absolutely no, safety standards for radio frequency radiation, not from one tower, and no established safe levels of wireless radiation from the cumulative exposure of all the sources of wireless radiation we are exposed to today. Our tower was tested at 1.66% of the FCC standards. So Verizon came to our neighborhood and told us it was safe. We are not. These are thermal standards, not biological cellular damage standards. These standards that the FCC have from 1996 are invalid and not protective of our health, of our children, of our elderly, of those with pre-existing health conditions, or for any single one of us. These standards were based on a 220 pound dummy exposed to a cell phone for six minutes. They do not affect for the fact that we live next to these towers 24 seven. Industry will tell you that these towers, these macro towers are on the sides of highways. I will tell you that I have a 115 foot macro cell tower that is capable of holding 48 cellular antennas in my front yard. I have 17 neighbors experiencing sickness and we have been called collateral damage and the cost of doing business. Our doctors will tell you that we are human subject experiments. This is illegal, this is not lawful, and this is wrong. There is seconds. plenty of science. We need to listen to the National Institute of Toxicology, the Ramazzini Report, and the World Health Organization when it tells you this is a class two carcinogen. We need to listen to the FDA who sends letters to the FCC telling them that they need to look at the biological harm. We need to look at our pediatricians who are not surprised by the injuries because the American Academy of Pediatrics has a position statement from 10 years ago citing this harm and asking for protections. Because there is no risk management, no insurance policy, and no help from local or state health departments when it comes to monitoring, managing, or mitigating wireless emissions, something must be done. Thank you very much. Yes, esteemed legislators, thank you for allowing me to speak today in support of HB 1644. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said that our lives begin to end the day we become silent about the things that matter. I am here today because cell tower setbacks matter. Protecting people's health matters. The voice of my little sister and the 17 others harmed in my neighborhood after a cell tower started transmitting matter. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and look at the people who are being injured by wireless radiation and who have a medical diagnosis of harm by their doctors, and that instead of treating them with shame and stigma, our legislators will deliver us the promise of health, safety, and equitable protections for all. I have a dream that one day, be it in Sacramento, California, or Shacktown, Massachusetts, all people protected under the American with Disabilities Act will actually be protected because New Hampshire was a leader and passed setbacks here today. I have a dream that no one will have to bear the high cost of legal, medical, or relocation fees because you have taken responsibility in preventing toxic infrastructure from being built in their neighborhood. Here in New Hampshire, because of the work you have done, I have this dream today. I dream of a world where everyone is safe where no one has to vomit in their own bed or be forced to leave their house and lose their home because of being assaulted by an environmental toxin they are exposed to without their consent 
24 hours a day, seven days a week, nonstop. Each of you here today have the power to make protection from wireless harm more than just a dream. As someone disabled by wireless radiation, we need more than your prayers. We need policy change and protections. I am imploring you to protect your residents by implementing cell tower setbacks. The time is always right to do what is right, and that time is now. Thank you. Thank you, two minutes and 20 seconds. Very well done. And I know you have to get back to school, so we're gonna forego any questions of Amelia. And I, I have I comments. thank you both. It's here. I don't have a question, but in terms of the time. Uh, Representative Thomas is recognized. Yes, uh, to Amelia, it is extremely rare that we have minors testify in front of this committee and is very much appreciated and well done. Congratulations, thank you for coming. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. I would point out that as of this moment, we have 24 minutes left in this public hearing and I have 10 pink cards left of people who want to speak. That likely means we will not get to everyone. So we will be likely be recessing this public hearing and resuming it at a later date. But right now, I would like to call on Jennifer. Yeah.